Okay, let's briefly talk about tuples. Now, tuples are like lists, but they're not like lists. So lists are what we call mutable, meaning that they can be changed. Now, tuples, tuples are immutable. They cannot be changed. Now, for this course, this is the last time you're going to be seeing tuples, but it's important to define what they are so that you know them, you know how to identify them, and they're just in the back of your mind as, hey, I know what a tuple is, and that thing is immutable. I can't change it once I have it. So let's take a look at a tuple. Okay, let's make a new line here and start a comment. We could say tuples do not change. And also we can put parentheses like this because remember, lists had brackets. Tuples have parentheses. So we're gonna say something like grades. Now we're gonna have an item that won't change. So we're gonna define grades here as just A, B, C, D, and F, which is common for the US grading system. And this is an example of a tuple. So again, we have parentheses instead of brackets. Now, if we were to go in here and we were to try to do a grades.pop, for example, and try to remove one of these, not gonna be possible. Or a grades.append, we're not gonna be able to put it something else in here. This is immutable. We cannot change this once we have it defined. So we can go ahead and print out our grades. And we could say print out grades. Let's print out a B. And that will work. And you can see now we printed a B. So we have similar features or abilities that we did here, but we cannot change it in any way. So once we have this defined and set, that's it for us. So this is it. I just wanted to quickly show you what a tuple is. Again, we're not going to get into it at all in this course, but it should be defined and we should know the difference between a list, which is mutable versus a tuple, which is immutable. So in the next video, we're going to get into looping. So we've already covered looping in the bash scripting section of the course, but we're going to go ahead and get into the Python version of looping as well and make some more sense of it. So I will catch you over in the next video.